Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Well, it's time for this week's STEAM profile. The focus today, art and engineering. We're introducing you to a man who makes his living conceptualizing animated supervillains and bringing them to life on the big screen. Here's KCON 9's Chris Holmstrom. I'm always doodling. I'm always kind of tinkering. And it's led to a pretty good living for Shane Baxley of Los Angeles. Shane's job title? Concept designer. What's that mean? It means a lot. It's basically coming up with an idea, visualizing it, sometimes creating a digital 3D version or real life 3D version. Shane has sketched, then built concept motorcycles, futuristic high heels, and high tech headphones for use at shooting ranges. But his most notorious project to date. Two characters for the Warner Brothers flick, The Suicide Squad. Shane designed this character known as The Thinker, as well as... A giant pink starfish. Its name is Starro. The character was created years ago for DC Comics' Justice League series. Shane's assignment makes Starro real for the Suicide Squad's big screen audiences. Starro, the main villain for that film, he's the biggest thing in the movie and also one of the smallest, all the little mini Starros. I was tasked to concept design that. The parameters? It's going to be pink and blue. It's a starfish. But the rest of Starro's design was up to Shane. What's the eye look like? What's the texture look like? It's all the little details. The smallest thing can actually be something that's the most memorable of the character at the end of the day. As for the STEAM discipline, Shane says concept designers use them all. I'm not an engineer, I'm not a fine artist, but I can kind of play in all of those realms and I have to basically like pull skills from all that to do what I do. For instance, with Starro. When I was illustrating it, it had to be very visually like, oh, that's awesome, I wanna look at that more. But then you're also doing the functionality bits and like the eyes, how it would walk. And you know, it's this giant thing and these legs without bones. Shane studied industrial design at the Art Center in Pasadena. Getting his degree was the toughest thing he ever did. I was homeless while in school for at least a term. At one point I just, I didn't have any money, but I was so determined to just keep going. I slept in my car, I showered at school, and it was actually during that time when I greatly leveled up because it's kind of like, I don't have anything else, I have to make this work. Shane's advice to aspiring concept designers. There's no substitute for mileage. You just have to draw and draw and draw. Grab a pen, grab a pencil, and just draw every day. Find like the artists that you love emulate their drawings, like Picasso did that. The thing he loves most about where he's at today. I wake up and I get to create, and then somebody pays me to do that, like, dream job. Wow, so much determination. Now Shane adds that to make a living as an artist, you'll need to invest plenty of time in creating a strong and unique portfolio. For more on STEAM careers, just go to our website, kcal9.com slash steam.